Hello, good evening. Welcome back to Compline at Clarence. It's good to have you with me again tonight and it's good to be back. Uh, it'd be helpful now to spend some time together, pausing at the end of a, a busy day perhaps for some, to reflect on the day that's been and enjoy the presence of God together tonight. We're going to follow a pattern that we've used before called the examine. Uh, we'll begin with a prayer to, to lead us in and then we shall spend some time thinking about our day and looking forward to tomorrow and the week ahead. So 20 minutes or so as is our custom. Thanks again for joining me, it's good to be back into the routine. Let's spend some time now quietening down, settling in, in the presence of God with each other at the end of the day. So let's pray. God who transcends time and space, yet who cares enough to number the hairs on our head and the breaths we have breathed. We come to this time ready to reflect on our day, still our anxious hearts and minds, so that we might hear your voice speaking peace in troubled waters. Give us freedom from our burdens for a little while. Help us to find our centre again in you. Be near to us this night, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. As I look out the window tonight, it's very dark. Some of year, the light goes away quickly. And so this prayer is even more meaningful as we begin together. And I invite you to, to say it along with me tonight as an invitation for the, the light of Christ to, to fill your heart. Let's pray. Christ has a light. Illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. During lockdown, many of us spent a few minutes every Thursday evening standing by our front doors, clapping for our frontline workers, people who kept working despite the risks of going to work. Well, for some, it was a moment to, to show your face, a kind of neighborhood peer pressure to look thankful. For many of us, it was a moment of genuine giving thanks. We needed to do something to show we were thankful. And as I stood each Thursday evening with my neighbours, became a special moment of connection. To give thanks isn't just to make someone else feel good about what they've done. It's about relationship, connection. Letting yourself know that you don't have to earn everything good in your life. 
Sometimes good things come as pure gift from a love that doesn't ask for anything in return. Psalm 136 begins with these words. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. It continues with a whole list of reasons to be thankful. Always with that same refrain, his love endures forever. God pours good things into our lives because he loves us. So as we begin another week, think of the things that you are thankful for today. What has made you feel loved today? What did you receive which you didn't have to buy? Bring them to mind and say thank you now. your day? It's hard to answer that question sometimes, isn't it? When people ask me, my mind always tends to go blank at that point. It's not because nothing happened that day. I think it's probably because so much happens in a day. Even a quiet day these days is full of noise and tasks and events. So let me help you out a bit. Try to think of just one moment from today. It can be a profound moment, a conversation with someone, a time of prayer, a, a leaf falling to your hand. Or it can be a less profound moment, an ordinary moment, a thought that came to you in the shower, a post that you saw on Facebook, doing the washing up or cooking dinner. Think about one moment from today. Replay it in your mind again now. What is it about that moment that stands out to you? Is it a positive experience, something that improved your day? Is it a negative experience, something that causes you confusion or pain? Whatever it is, ask God now to show you how he was in that moment with you. Sit with him for a while and listen.
it's time again for some honesty. As I can't hear your thoughts and you can't hear mine, this brief moment tonight is a perfect opportunity for us to be open about those things that are disordered in our lives. There's no pressure here to be perfect or even to be good. We all have things we'd prefer stay submerged below the surface of our lives. Things we've done to others, things we've neglected to do, harmful words or thoughts, negative patterns or behaviours. It does us good to name them, be honest, if only to ourselves and God. So now's your time to let some things go before you go to bed tonight. Let's be honest. said your sins are forgiven. In the name of the Father who created you and waits to welcome you home. In the name of the Son who searches for you. In the name of the Spirit who brings the healing of forgiveness and calls you to do the same. You have been set free. Before we finish tonight, let's consider the week ahead. As I say that, what goes through your mind? I guess if you're like me, it's going to be both good things and bad things. Maybe there's going to be some things this week you're not looking forward to. Maybe there's some things you're really looking forward to. And that's just life. But the future is not yet written. It's always open, full of possibilities. I like what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 2. He says, No eye has ever seen, or ear has ever heard, or no mind has ever thought of the wonderful things God has made ready for those who love him. We like to think that we can predict tomorrow. In reality, none of us knows what tomorrow brings. But we take each step with certainty but trust. We believe that there are wonderful things in store for us, prepared for us by God. And we believe that even in the less than wonderful things, God continues to lead us, to hold us, and to walk with us. So let me invite you to spend these last few moments together tonight imagining what might be this week. Bring to mind the good things and the bad things and place it all into the hands of God.
Let's pray these words together as we close this evening, asking God to surround us, to circle us with his protection, his light and his peace. Let's pray. Circle me, Lord. Keep protection near and danger afar. Circle me, Lord. Keep light near and darkness afar. Circle me, Lord. Keep peace within. Keep evil out. peace of all peace be yours tonight in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen